Hi, Chandana here from Ashtanga Yoga Pune, India. We're going to talk about Uddha Dhanurasana today. Before I start with this video, remember these online uh, videos or these teachings are motivational tools. But do go to your teacher in your city or your country or your town. Um, when we talk about Uddha Dhanurasana, it's not just about flexibility. Your flexibility has to be supported with your strength. So what I can uh, share over here is the four tools of backbending. The first one is leg strength and leg awareness, a lot of quarters of awareness and strength. Second is your hip mobility, your flexibility in your hip, the rotation of your hip. Third is your back and your core strength. And the fourth one is the isolation and mobility of your spine. The flexibility of your spine when you start to isolate it into your upper, middle, and lower back. So let's start with Uddha Dhanurasana. So you prepare. Now preparation is your heels are hip width apart, your toes and heels are parallel to each other, palms near your ears. Now the four pillars of back bending, the four tools of back bending: awareness in your legs, your quadriceps, rotation of the hips. Strengthen your core and your back and isolation of the spine. So that I'll explain once I go up into Uddha Dhanurasana. Now remember when you're going up, you inhale to go up into Uddha Dhanurasana. When you go up, try to distribute your weight equally on your feet, on your legs, as well as your palms. So avoid doing this or this. So when you go inhale, Lift up as if someone is pulling from your belly button up to the ceiling. Okay, so four pillars remember inhale, lift up, stay there. Weight is equally distributed on your, on your leg as well as your arms. So you're not going all the way towards your legs or towards your arms. Now, isolation of the spine. The more you can look towards your heel. You will feel your shoulders rotating and you will feel how you're working on your upper and your middle back. Stay there for five breaths. Now, if you can, slowly go down. Now, when you're going down, don't collapse with your elbows. That means you're just collapsing. No, rotate your elbows in. Maintain that entire pressure on your feet as well as your palm. Put your head down. Walk walk again pushing equally with your palms as well as your legs stay there again try to look towards your heel working on your upper and your middle back also stay there breathe again go down don't collapse with the elbows elbows squeezed in put the palm down and lift up by this time you will feel all the pressure Building up in your quarters, which means you're already using and engaging your legs also. Stay there for five breaths. Look towards your heel. Look, 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 look. And then slowly come down. I hope this was helpful. Send me love, send me your feedback. And let me know if you want to know about some more asanas or not. Thank you.